everyone. So I am down in the basement right now and I wanted to share with you this piece right behind me. I just posted on Instagram sharing with you this piece that I found at a rummage sale just a couple days ago. Actually, not more than a couple days ago last week. And I want to share with you the process of taking this gown that I found at a rummage sale and turning it into a bell costume for Halloween, which is only in like four days. And I don't know that I'm going to be able to make it work completely um, just because there isn't a ton of time to do it but I just shared a picture of this with you guys on Instagram and you're giving me some really great ideas as to how to make it a little fancier and just sort of give it more life because right now it's it's sort of plain um, but I'm going to turn the camera around and I want to share with you the before of this bell costume so I found this bell costume at a rummage sale for only a dollar and it looks like they that somebody had maybe dressed as Belle for a couple years or maybe they were doing um, a Beauty and the Beast play or something because there was also the blue dress with the apron that was also there. So here it is. The light is sort of fading it a little bit. It's actually a pretty vibrant yellow and it's just a simple homemade dress. I really love this little detail right here. I don't know what you would call it. It's almost like an apron but it's it's you know part of the dress. It has like an off the shoulder type look to it. This is the before. Wish me luck on this piece. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to look for some stuff to add to that dress. You guys gave me some really good suggestions on Instagram and Facebook. Um, some people suggested like a glitter tool underneath like the like swoopy parts. And then some people suggested like little rosettes. Um, some people suggested gloves and a necklace and a crown and stuff like that. So I'm just going to Joanne's to see if I can find anything that'll be easy to add to it. I think the big part of the project is going to be making it smaller but I don't think it's, like, I might be naive, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be too hard. But we're going to head into Joanne. It's going to be Joanne Fabrics. Joanne Fabrics. And um, come check in with us. So I sort of like this lace. I was thinking I could put it underneath those little, like, scooped parts on the skirt. But it's so expensive. Okay, this one's only $13 a yard. But this one... It's like $21 a yard. That's insane. But I know there are coupons. Do you want like a gold? Yeah, see that's what I want, but like there's really not, there's not a whole lot. I mean there's sequins and stuff, but. What about this one down here? Which one? This one? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Intriguing. And it's only $5 a yard. It could be, it's not going to have a good bend yeah. to it. I'd have to snip it, which would be fine. And then there's this, Sean. Everybody's kind of dull looking. I mean, it would just go sort of underneath the, the little, like, mm -hmm. I mean, it could be pretty. I think it's a, it's a, it's a contender. Do oh, there's, anything, a, there's, there's like a sparkle side and a flat side. This one, maybe? That one? I had to start in the clearance section, but... There is no tool here. Whoa. Sean, this is hot dogs. It's fun. All right, let's look. Ooh, okay. Here we go. This isn't it, but we're in the right section-ish. I could add some detail to it. Whoa, there's not a whole lot of it left though. Yes. These are the ones. So we just found this fabric. It's a tool, a glitter tool. Somebody, somebody suggested that on Instagram. Look at that though. Do not bring that into our house. It has to, I have to work with it. But I'm thinking for like the top. Like, oh look at that. my gosh. No, seriously, don't get this. Uh, don't do it. Sean. Kieran. It's my look, life. Look at what you're doing. It's my life. It is our I'll be house. A sparkle princess, okay? But look at look at me. <laughs> but like, look at the floor. Look at your shoes. You could look at it two ways. You could say, "Look at the floor." Wow, it's so beautiful. <clears throat> okay, so but I'm thinking like I'm gonna get like and gather it like on the top. Mm-hmm. Okay. You with me so far? No. I think I'm gonna have to get a lot of yards of this. I don't know how many though. 
and then I'm thinking of taking it in and then I'm thinking about taking it and putting it underneath the skirt but maybe I shouldn't but maybe I shouldn't Decisions. so here is the bell costume I haven't done anything to it yet but as you can see it's big on me and it's a little long for me so what I'm thinking of doing is this part comes off it's just attached with just like a tiny little uh, stitch um actually yeah it's right there if you can see it but it's not attached to the actual like sleeve part so I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to take the sleeves and probably take them up a couple inches because if you look it's not even at my natural waist you know my natural waist is here these are going to go up to probably here okay and then it's going to come in probably probably inch and a half on both sides it still needs to be a couple inches shorter i'm not thinking i'm going to take it up a ton but i am going to be wearing a crinoline with it so it will fill it out a little bit see all the glitter on the floor yes yes so what i'm thinking first of all i'm going to try to spray <laughs> you guys should see sean he is so upset about this glitter somebody made a suggestion of taking it and laying it simple like underneath here so then the dress will have like a glitter overlay what do you think sean looks good you like that don't kick the glitter on me. Today is the 29th, and I have tonight and tomorrow night to work on this. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to get it done tonight. That Tomorrow's might be a little your birthday. Ambitious. Tomorrow's my birthday. Um, so it might be a little ambitious, but I'm going to try to get as much done as I can. It's not going to be perfect, you know. It's just This is just going to be trying my best and the tool was six dollars altogether and the dress was a dollar all right so i have the dress right here and i think what i'm going to start on is actually taking the dress in and shortening the sleeves i'm not going to touch the length just quite yet i am going to work on taking off these little straps first and then i'm going to just pin it up um at the at the seams you know right there at, at the inside uh seam and i think i'm just gonna pin it and then try it on just to see how it fits. I'm actually using a sewing box that my grandma gave me. So I'm hoping that there are straight pins. Aha, there are straight pins in here. Yay. I wonder if there's a seam ripper. You know what? Now that I think about it, I hope there are. A, there is a pair of scissors in here because I do not know where anything is. Is this a seam ripper? Yes. Oh. I might have to use kitchen shears, honestly. Like I don't know where anything is right now. All right, so that came off super easily. I think that took me less than a minute. So now I am going to sort of pin the sleeves and I'm just going to, I'm sort of gonna just put it on my arm right now and see how much I think I'm going to have to take it up. That's, you know, a decent amount that it's being taken up. And the thing I wanna say about this project is this is not about a perfect costume. This is about having an opportunity to take something secondhand and make it look really cool and not spending any money or, or too much money. So this, is it on my arm? Hmm. What do you think? Actually, I think that's a pretty good, pretty good length in terms of the arm hole. I'm gonna pop this on and I'm gonna see how the length of the sleeves fit. And then I'll move on to the next part. I think that this is going to be a good length because I'm also going to be taking it in. So it's going to be more like that. You know what I mean? This is not like way down there. And that also brings the, the bodice up a little bit. So it's more at my natural waist. So I'm not going to have to worry about that as much. So now I need to figure out how much I'm going to bring it in. I don't want it to be too tight because I want it to be able to be flexible during the day. I'm probably only going to be wearing it for half the day or so. But I'm trying to figure out exactly how much I want it to come in. Probably about an inch and a half on both sides. I don't think that'll be too much. I think that'll be just right. And I do, I sort of like where 
it hits me now. So I'm thinking about an inch and a half on both sides. I'm gonna take it off and I'm going to pin that as well. I think that this is looking pretty good. I think the main thing is that the bodice is in a more flattering spot on my waist and that it's just a little bit smaller all throughout. Another thing, the sleeves are way better in terms of the length. You know, I don't have a giant gaping sleeve hole. I am going to take it all, take it off and I'm going to stitch the arms and then the side and then I will worry about the length I think at that point. So, all right, it's time to get to sewing. What I was thinking is that I will sew on the inside of the pins instead of on the outside. That way I'll have a little bit more of a little tighter feel, which I had sort of wanted. Um, but as I said, I just didn't want it to be too tight because I just don't need it to be too tight and uncomfortable for school. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. I did this. How cool is that? Oh, and the arms are perfect. The armholes are perfect. Oh my goodness. I am so stinking proud of myself. I'm gonna put it on with a crinoline so you guys can see what it looks like with the crinoline. Also, that'll give me an idea of how much actually needs to be trimmed off of it. So let me pop the crinoline on. As you can see, it fills it out a little bit. So I'm thinking it's gonna have to come up quite a few inches. I think this is a actually a pretty good length. And I'm not gonna go all the way around. I'm going to continue to mark the hem and then I'm going to put it in the sewing machine and start sewing it. It's not perfectly even, but I feel like it's not bad for kind of eyeballing it. Oh, I love it. I ended up leaving the back longer. I thought for some reason when I was sewing it that I was, there was a part that was really uneven, but it actually doesn't look that way and it's the right length. Hi everyone, I'm back again for day two of working on the Halloween costume and I was surprised as to how much I was able to get done yesterday and I was surprised about my skills because I, I feel like a lot of what I do, it's just stuff that I've seen my mom do and I've been able to learn from her but sort of just from watching. So let me share with you what I did. Pretty much what I did was I took up the sleeves, they were way too long, so I took them up. I also took in the side on both sides quite a bit. I gave it a pretty decent hem. And then I took this tool, I gathered it, did like a little gathering stitch, and I gathered it and I pinned it underneath. So pretty much all I have to do today is sew it on underneath here. So then I'm going to put the crinoline on and figure out how much tool I want to cut off. And then I'm going to hem that. And then I'm going to probably add this back onto it somewhere, probably at the arms. 
is what I'm thinking. I'm going to start by stitching the tool underneath. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that now, that though. Huh? It's gonna be challenging, but we'll figure it out. So I just broke the needle on my sewing machine and it is stuck in the presser foot and I can't get it out. So that changes things. Um, I, I might try to just hand stitch this. I feel like that's crazy, but at the same time, like I don't know what else to do. So I guess I'm just going to try to hand stitch this the best I can. It's not gonna be perfect, but as long as it stays on, I think that's all that matters. So I don't know, let's give it a try. I don't know. I might not be interested in it after like 20 minutes of working on it. <sighs> we'll give it a try, I guess. So here is the finished dress and I'm actually filming this at the end of the day we had Halloween today at school and so this is sort of the dress after an entire day of wearing it at school it was a huge hit the kids absolutely loved it um, there is glitter all over my school right now the art teacher actually texted me and said um, that there was a pile of glitter in the bathroom and that definitely was me when I put it on it's the one stall is all gold glitter on the ground, um, but it turned out really great. I I love that I was able to see it and think of like a, a plan for it without knowing exactly how I would do it. You know what I mean? I saw the like the potential in it. I love how this part looks. Like I love how it sort of just like lays over it. So the main issues I had, the the one main main problem I had was that my needle in my machine broke at one point and it broke actually right as I was going to put this on. I think I might have shoved too much fabric in it and that's why it broke. Um, I've never had that happen before. So then I ended up needing to stitch this by hand. So it lasted though. Altogether, the dress was a dollar and the tool was six dollars. It was originally like 12 and then I, no, it was like 13 or 14 and then I had a 60% off coupon. So, yes. Oh, and then I took a little bit of the, um, the fabric from the hem and made this bow. I promise you it looked better this morning. It started to like fray along the sides. If I had more time, I would have like, like cleaned up the edges and made it look really pretty. Um, but I just, I ran out of time. I was up until like midnight, right, Sean? Mm -hmm. Working on it. And then I put glitter on my face. Kids had a lot of fun. I think they really like it. They expect a lot from me every year, so I like to live up to their expectations. But I think I'm sort of getting myself like almost too big. You know what I mean? It, each year it gets a little, each year it gets a little bigger and bigger. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But let me do a, a slow turn for you guys. Oh, and the other thing is the back. I didn't make it a skirt for the tool. It's uh, it's it's separate. I never like connected it together. So yeah, let me do a little walk forward, maybe so you can see. Yay! And I did curl, I did curl my hair this morning. By the time I got to school, it was all a mess. So, it, I had like knotted curly hair all day, and we had parent teacher conferences today, and I looked like this. I had a different outfit but I, I kept the glitter on because why not? So I hope you enjoyed this video of how I took this thrifted dress and turned it into a beautiful ball gown. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. If you'd like to see more videos of me taking thrifted pieces of clothing and changing, turning them into something new, just let me know in the comments what kind of things you would like to see. 
check me out on Instagram at Thrifted Living or on my Facebook at Thrifted Living page. And don't forget to trick or treaters, maybe. It's too early. And don't forget to check out my blog. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.